Shalom Israel. Um, just want to have a quick conversation with y'all about uh, having narcissistic friends or being in this faith and having to deal with people that are narcissistic. All right, narcissistic people, right? When you confront a narcissistic person about their bad actions or things that they've done wrong, their first reaction is to blame you. You know, and unfortunately, I hate the phrase victim blaming, but they victim blame. The same people that they hurt are the same people that they'd be like, yo, you know, those, they'd be like, what the fuck? Like, what, what, what did you do that for? You know, and it, it just turns out that they, they're just scumbags. It's not you, it's them. You know? People are fucking scumbags at the end of the day. You want to separate yourself from narcissistic people because they affect your, you in the faith. You know, they affect your your ability to have a sound mind because the peace that you're trying to attain while you're in this faith so that you can make the right decisions, you can avoid doing bad things. You know, these guys totally, uh, these people these narcissists totally screw you over. They totally, because they make you upset and they make you think you're the one that's bugging. There's something called gaslighting, right? I have two friends that are gaslighters. They do foul shit and then when I check them on it, they make me think I'm the one that's crazy. Like, like I don't see what the fuck they just did. You know, people that be gaslighting, you gotta you gotta be careful with these people, man. You know, gaslighting is where they basically make you think that you're bugging when you caught caught them out there. They make you literally, they'll make you question damn near your own sanity. Like one thing I always remembered when I was working in corporate America was, you know, I used to have this this manager, I won't say his name. But I would make observations about, you know, the way he handled any issue that was related to me or any other person in my department. First thing he did was deny. And a lot of times what he denied was obvious. So, and that's the first thing he did. But wait a minute, that's gaslighting. That's an example of gaslighting because... Nigga, I know, I know that you have special attention on my department. I know that you're sitting here watching everything we do, every email we send, every... We, we had to cross our T's, dot our I's because this guy was such a, a fucking asshole about the job. And when you called him out on it, he would gaslight. He would be like, no, you know, that's not what I'm doing. I'm doing this. No, nigga, you're watching us is what you're doing. You know? And you have to watch out for people in the in the in, in, in this. You know. You can always say, friends. You know, and, and I'll say this: this is this is in the truth and not the truth. But if you have a narcissist around you, one of the things that that you're going to see a lot of is blaming. They're going to blame you. They're going to piss you off on purpose, and then they're going to say, "Oh, you're just too sensitive." It's not that I'm too sensitive. It's that you take too much goddamn pleasure in getting somebody else mad and then don't want to suffer the consequences because that's another thing. Another another symptom of a narcissist is somebody who takes no accountability. At the end of the day, if you get upset with something they did, you're bugging because you're upset with something they did. But if you lay out, if you were to have a third party come in and you lay out the shit that they did, the, the simple mathematics points to the fact that this person is just an asshole. Not that you're bad, a bad person for, for getting mad about it or for noticing it. People get mad when you just notice that they do something wrong. You know, that, that's that's a damn shame that, that people do that shit. They just, they just get mad because you notice, like, yo, I noticed what the fuck you did, man. You can't hide that shit. You know, so the ultimate 
thing I want to touch on uh, as far as the topic is just stay away from these narcissists, these people that are all about themselves, you know, these people that, that use people, you know, because at the end of the day, only you're going to get hurt. You know, I'm not going to tell you dump all your friends that's not in the faith because I, I myself would be a hypocrite if I told you that. I have a lot of friends that's not in the faith. You know, I, I would only say that I have two people in my life that are total, absolute fucking narcissists. You know, absolute narcissists, no accountability, no nothing. Just strictly, you know, wanting to do what they do, but restricting your freedoms. Because that's what they do. That's what narcissists do. You know, they see you living and they, they got something to say about it. You know, you can never have nothing better than a nar narcissist. Perfect example. One of the two narcissist pieces of garbage that I know is always in a competition with somebody. And that somebody's always a friend. Motherfucker wants to have the best car, the best kick game, the best wardrobe. And if you happen to have anything better than his, you know, forget about it. They'll find a way to make you feel inferior or try to. You know? And that's a motherfucking shame. That's that's what that's what it boils down to with some people that call themselves your friends. You know, but that's just the way people are, man. So with that, I'm gonna say shalom. And before I say before I bounce out, just please remember. Stay away from narcissists. Stay away from people that make you think you're bugging when they're the ones that's doing the wrong. Shalom.